that we're going to try and get in the PS4 queue, which if it's any as long as that last queue, I'll uh, kill myself. <laughs> I'll do it. As expected, because it's a brand new console, the PS4 stand was absolutely mobbed. Once we got through to the front of the queue, Sony gave us this little ticket with a selection of games to choose from. Now this means that we didn't get to play all the games in the show, but here are our highlights of what was shown off at the PS4 stand. Well, I'm just about to sit down and play Drive Club, which is a racing game, as you know, I like racing games, and this is for the PlayStation 4, and I'm in illustrious company because Mario and Luigi are also playing it, and so is Tom Watson MP over there. Anyway, let's see how it plays. Ah, uh, you know what? This isn't as good as it maybe should be. Gran Turismo 6, a PS3 game, was getting shown off nearby and it looked a fair bit nicer than this does. I know graphics aren't the be all and end all, but man, if you've got a new console coming out and you're banking on a big racing game and you don't have a new Ridge Racer on show, make sure the game you do have looks a bit nicer than this. Get past that though, past that disappointment that the Drive Club doesn't show off the PS4 in the greatest light, and it plays quite well. After taking a stupid picture of you to share on the network, Drive Club gives you wee challenges while you're racing. So you might be doing a standard couple of laps, but then you'll have to get higher average speeds or a better drift score, all in the middle of the race. I only got to try out one course in one car, but there was a lovely feeling of heft, power and oversteer to the game. If the look of the game gets polished up, then this could be a winner. But man, it really should look nicer than this, and that's a shame. Just quickly, how's the pad? It's, I, I still like it. I like the size of it. I've got wee hands, so it does me quite well. Behold, Neck. Neck is capable of explosive growth. Knack is one of these games I think a lot of folk have been quite negative about, and this includes the controversial Joseph Merrick. But to be honest with you, see, playing it, the first thing that came to my mind was Ratchet and Clank. Not because it's as good as Ratchet and Clank, because it's a game kind of aimed at that same kind of market. The PS4 is out very soon, and let's be honest, there's not a lot of games coming out aimed specifically for children, and this kind of is, although it is quite hard. And I'll be honest, I quite enjoyed it. I'm getting chills. Again, wee bit of stutter, wee bit of frame rate issue, but I mean, there's quite a lot of detail going on. I mean, I quite enjoyed the combat, it's quite simple, straightforward, but to be completely honest, if it appeared on PlayStation Plus, it would be a definite buy for me. If someone was to say, right, will you pay £60 for it, I would probably have to slap them in the face. Just about to play Octodad on the PS4, and if you look close, it looks a wee bit like me on a Saturday night after I've had too many beers. Words can't describe what it's like to play Octodad. Like Quop and Mount Your Friends, here's a game that deliberately gives you ridiculously complicated controls and hilarity as a result. You're an octopus in a tuxedo about to get married. Your objectives are as mundane as just getting your clothes on and making your way to the altar. But I've played final bosses in some games that are less difficult than trying to walk in a straight line. It's brilliant! I love that games like this are getting made the now. I love that Sony has had this right at the front of the PS4 stand. I love that one of the main games in the show is a game about a laughing at an octopus walking like an alky. I love Octodad, and you will too. So this is Hohokam, which is a game that I actually came to with absolutely no direction from any of the people at Sony booth, so I'll be honest, I had absolutely no fucking clue what I was doing playing this game, but doesn't it look nice though? It looks a lot like a kind of colourful Nobu Nobu Boy, uh, which is saying something because Nobu Nobu Boy was uh, more colourful than a rainbow. What is Hohokam? Uh, it's a game where you go a sperm, trying to find its way to an egg. Look. I don't know what I was doing, it might as well have been a screensaver and I wasn't really impacted on much, but I mean, it was quite nice. You could probably put a, a Daft Wayne in front of me and probably quite enjoy it, because I mean, I did. And I'm a Daft Wayne. I 
I know this game will probably get a massive following of people online. The quality is there to see. It looks lovely, flying about is great fun, but I'm pish at it. I don't know where I was meant to be shooting and I ended up crashing but I kept on getting too close to things because I wanted to go, oh look at that, that was lovely. Definitely one for the hardcore then. Now here's a wee game that was actually already on my radar before we came to the Eurogamer Expo, Resogun. A game I'd heard a lot of buzz about and I'll be perfectly honest, it's brilliant. Extremely playable with a really nice kind of wee take on the kind of shmup, kind of going round that big kind of cylinder. I mean, I'll be honest, I really, really enjoyed it and when you're looking at it, when you're looking really up close, the amount of detail on show was fantastic. Whether or not I'd say it's a game that couldn't come out on the PS3, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to argue the case for that, but certainly it was just very playable, very fun, very smooth, and that, I'll be honest, it's a game that I'm definitely interested in picking up when I finally slap down a big wad of cash in front of some spotty teenager and buy a, buy a PS4. Well, we played it, that's the PlayStation 4 done and dusted, what do you make of it? I really like it, I mean, I've said before I like the controller, but I was quite impressed with some of the games on show, maybe they're not... They're not quite system sellers, but they're good fun, and that's that's important. For me. Right, what, what game do you like the best then? I mean, for me, I mean, I really enjoyed Resogun. I thought it was a really good, fun shooting game. Looks brilliant, plays really well. How about yourself? It's all about Octodad for me. It's all about Octodad. Like, reliving the memories of walking down the street, knocking everything over with too many big beers in me. No, it's it's, it's an impressive console. I'm, I'm just really happy it's good because I, pre I pre ordered one already. It's a non refundable deposit. <laughs> if, if it had been a bad game, it really would have been that'd be 20 pounds right up my arse there. So. <laughs> Thank God about that. Thank God. Thank keep, God. keep that talking.